buying silver online versus buying in person at your local coin shop. Which one should you do? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I do appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, if you're not subscribed, definitely think about subscribing. If not, hopefully I can earn your subscription by the end of this video. Anyways, so let's get into it. Um, so what do we want to talk about today is buying silver online versus buying in person at your local coin shop. Um, I went down and I wrote down some pros and cons of each one. Um, and I, I'd like to go over that with you, but before I do that, I did want to do a little bit of an unboxing because I did actually purchase something online. So I'm going to open this up, All right? Um, I ordered 20 American Silver Eagles from JM Bullion online. Uh, before we get into the, the points I'd like to make, I thought it'd be nice to do an unboxing here and actually look at something I ordered online. All right, so I'm going to open this up, take out the information, and I'll get, be right back. All right, guys, so got it out of that pesky packaging there. Um, went ahead, got rid of the plastic, popped it open, haven't looked inside just yet. Um, but yeah, it came nicely wrapped. Plastic packaging, packaging was great. Had a little piece of cardboard in there, so it didn't rattle around too much. Um, Jay and Bullion did a great job. Good on them. If I ever buy online again, I'll definitely consider them strongly. Um, so without further ado, these were supposed to be... 2019's BU. Let's, let's take one of these bad boys out. Alright. Let's see. BU. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably going to get a lot of hate for putting one of these in my hand, but the other day, they're, they're just bullion. Just bullion coins. These are not collectible. Maybe I should be wearing gloves, but. I'm currently not wearing gloves. I'll definitely consider some for the future. So yeah, they look great. You can see there's no toning on the edges, which is nice since they're supposed to be considered BU. So that's good. I'll put those over here. So what are we talking about today? You know, it's buying bullion or silver online versus buying it in person at your local coin shop. So I went ahead and I wrote down some pros and cons for each. And let's go over them. All right. So my first, I'm going to go over the pros, uh, buying online, and then we'll go over the cons. And after that, I'll go over the pros of the local, buying from a local coin store and cons. And then we'll, we'll bring it back together here. So the first thing I want to bring up, first one, the number one pro for buying online is the huge selection. Um, anybody who's ever been on Atmex knows that they have an outrageous amount of things you can look at or buy or purchase. I mean, you could spend hours, I mean hours, scrolling through there looking at everything and still probably not see everything. It's its insane, you know, whether you want uh, a vintage bar, right? Engelhard, 1984 Sunshine Mint, right? Beautiful, beautiful. Um, you want a five ounce bar. You want a poured silver you want gold, they have gold. They have everything you could possibly want or desire online. Um, you want something graded. You want uh, pirate treasure. I mean, whatever you want, they're gonna have it, right? I mean, there isn't anything that you could want that they, they wouldn't have online at one. If you couldn't find at one, you could find at the other. Um, so that's the first pro. Uh, the second one, they have great sales slash promotions, right? Um, these eagles I picked up were off a of promotion. Uh, I think I paid a little under two dollars over spot per, and at the end of the day, it was under twenty bucks per silver eagle, and that's the kind of deals that can pop up here or there that you may not get at your local coin store. You may not, you know. So you got to keep an eye on those, and that's it's an opportunity for good deals that'll pop up. So that's a good pro for buying online. Uh, the third one I'd like to bring up is it's super convenient, right? 
you could literally buy silver. You're sitting on the toilet. You're sitting on the toilet and you're thinking, hey, you know what? I want to buy 20 American Silver Eagles. And you do it. And that's that. No one can stop you. Just like that. Done. Right? Um, ships to your house. You don't have to leave the house. And that's a big benefit of buying online. You, it's insanely convenient. Um, another pro. Uh, it's a good way to get the special releases. You know, those bullion coins that have limited quantities. Example would be Queen's Beast or... Uh, any of those collectible series that people enjoy. You know, it's not my thing. You know, I, I stay away from that stuff. But um, the, for the people that enjoy that, it's a good way to get those series. I mean, if they come out, you're going to have to wait for them to show up at your local coin store. It, it may not be the way to go. If you're if you're into collecting series, buying online is definitely the way to go. All right. And the last pro for buying online, in my opinion, is that they're open. 24 7 um, you can buy when you want uh, if if you're the person that likes to buy the dips right so if you know spot price went down a dollar today and well it's Sunday at 8 o'clock you know when the markets open overseas and it went down a dollar and you want to buy well, Atmax is open JM Bullion is open SD Bullion they're all open 24 7 you can buy what you need 24/7 whenever you want there's no restrictions uh, and that to me is a big is a big pro for buying online all right so it's not all it's not all fine and dandy there's cons to buying online so let's go over the cons so the first one I want to bring up is price right so with this big selection comes at a cost right they're a business they got to make money and a lot of these places, some more than others, not all are crazy expensive, but their prices are higher than you can find in a local coin store. You know, this isn't always true, but on an average basis, uh, prices are higher. And you'll say, no, no, I can get it for this much. Okay. When you go on there, uh, they'll say this price, you can get it for this price. But when you click on it, it'll say, Oh, if you buy 1 to 20, you get it this price. If you buy 20 to 100, this price, and so on and so on. You buy 1,000. Um, so buying one will not guarantee you that lowest price, right? And then on top of that, um, if you don't reach their minimums, which typically is around $100, $99 for most places. Some it's not. Some it's more uh, to get that free shipping. So if you just want to buy two American Silver Eagles um, and you don't hit that minimum, you're going to pay for shipping. And then you're also going to pay the higher price because you're not buying more. So to avoid that, you really need to look at the promotions. But that's definitely a con for buying online. So my second point I want to bring up for a con is items not coming as described. So what could, what could happen, right? Let's say you ordered a peace dollar. You ordered, it was supposed to be a BU peace dollar. And it shows up in the mail. And it looks like this. Nowhere near BU, right? I mean, this, this is a cool coin, but it's it's not BU. Let's face it. So that's something that can happen. It's it's bound to happen, right? I mean, human error. Uh, I'm sure it doesn't happen too often, but stuff like that will happen. You will have stuff happen to you. Um, human error. It's, sometimes it can't be avoided. Get out of here, popcorn. What are you doing in the video? Um... Uh, so yeah, that's the second point I want to bring up. Uh, the third point, the third con, theft and damaged, right? So what does that mean? It seems pretty obvious, right? So it's theft, say, uh, you know, you're ordering online, so where is it going to be delivered? Not everybody has a P.O. box, not everybody owns a business, right? I know you're going to say, well, I'll just send it to my business or I'll send it to my P.O. box. But not everybody owns one of those or has their own business or anything like that. So it's going to end up in your mailbox, right? Or it's it's going to end up on your porch. Um, and what can happen, you know how people are these days. They come up on your porch, they steal your boxes, they steal your stuff out of your mail. Or maybe it's not even that. Maybe it just gets damaged on its way here, right? So that's a con for buying online. Something you wouldn't have to worry about if you bought from your local coin store, right? Okay, so my fourth point I wanted to bring up is wait, wait time. 
So when you buy online, I'm sure you guys know, uh, there's no instant gratification. Um, they got to ship it. They got to package it. And if you go over to the e-check route, which I recommend, definitely pay e-check if you can online. Don't use your credit card. Come on, people. What are you doing? Um, e-check can take five to seven business days. And it varies um, dealer to dealer online, but it can take a while. And depending when you do it, you do it on Friday where you lose Saturday, Sunday, right? And then six, you know, five more business days, well, then you lose another Saturday, Sunday. It could be a week and a half before it even ships. And then three or four days shipping. Um, so this, to me, is a big con of buying online. Um, you don't get it right away. You got to wait. Um, and that's frustrating sometimes and it could be delayed. It could get lost. So, um, fourth one to bring up is wait time. All right. So what's the fifth and final con, uh, for buying online versus buying in your local corn store to me is not building a relationship with the local corn shop owner. You say, well, what does that matter? I don't need any more friends. Well, it's so important, right? Because eventually you're going to want to sell this stuff, right? I mean, you're buying it for a reason. If it's to hedge your, your wealth, right? Hedge against inflation. Um, maybe you're making a slight investment. Maybe you think it's going to boom. Maybe it's for your retirement. So if you're 40 now and you're going to sell it when you're 65, you're going to sell it, right? So who are you going to sell it to? You're going to sell it to Amex Online? Sure, you can. But why not create a relationship and sell it to a person you know and you've built that relationship over 20 years, right? So to me, that's the biggest con because you're not going to make a relationship with a computer, right? I mean, some people do. A little weird. Well, okay. But uh, that's the biggest con for buying online, right? So let's, let's talk about buying from a local coin store. Um, what are the pros for doing that? All right? You know, we just got through the cons with buying online. Let's talk about the pros of buying from a local corn store. So the biggest one, the most obvious one, is no shipping delay. Um, you walk in, you know, you want, uh, you want five one-ounce bars. You pay the man his money or the woman, and you walk out with your five bars. That's it. Simple as that. You don't have to wait a week. You don't have to wait for the check to clear. It's yours. It's in your hand. And you go home and you do whatever you want with it. Right? And that's that. Um, to me, that's the biggest, one of the biggest pros of buying from a local coin store. Right? So what's, what's the second point? The second pro. Um, see before you buy. Right? So online, you know, they'll have generic pictures. It'll say... 20, 2015 Canadian silver maple leaf, right? And they'll have a generic picture of one sitting next to a tube, you know, sitting next to a tube, and that'll be that. You order a tube, and that's that. Okay, so it shows up. It doesn't look like it shows. Maybe they're slightly scratched, they're milk spotty, but had you been to your local coin shop, you could physically pick up each coin and inspect it and make sure it's the condition you want, right? Make sure they're all beautiful. Make sure they're not all milk spotty. Um, so that to me is a huge benefit. And it goes even farther than that with seeing before you buy, especially if you really, really enjoy junk silver, right? Um, I myself love junk silver. If you've watched my last couple of videos, I've been definitely talking about it a lot lately. Um, great stuff, I love it. But if you're a fan of it, why would you not want to go to a coin shop and pick out the prettiest ones you could find, right? You could go there and pick out all these gorgeous BU Kennedys at no additional cost. When you say, hey, Coin and Silver Journey, I can just order BU Kennedys. Yeah, sure you can, but you're going to pay a premium. Order them. Check the prices out. They're more expensive. You go to a local coin shop. You pick out the prettiest coins, whatever it may be. Uh, maybe you want some BU. Oh, camera some BU Roosevelt's, right? You can pick these out at no additional cost. You get to pick what you want. And I think if you're a big fan of junk silver, it's a must. 
you need to visit your local coin shop. But to each their own, right? Okay, so what's the third thing I want to bring up? The third pro for buying from a local coin shop. Prices can be negotiable, right? And that's a big one. That's a big one. Um, uh, with bullion, dealers only have so much play, right? I mean, there's only so much they can drop the price on Morgans and, and American Silver Eagles. You're not really going to find them too cheap. Um, but it really comes into play with more expensive things. Maybe you're a collector, right? Maybe you want this treasure coin, right? This pirate treasure coin here or something else more collectible. And he's got it listed for, let's say it's $90. And you say, hey, you know what? I'll give you $60. And then you meet in the middle, $75, right? You made a deal. Awesome. Great. Uh, but buy it online, if it's listed for $80 or $90, there's no bargaining. That's the price. You want it, you pay it. So when you're in person, you can negotiate. You can do all this great stuff that you can't do online. And that, to me, is, is a huge pro of going to your local coin shop. So what's the fourth thing I want to bring up? The fourth one is you learn something new, right? So when you go to a local coin shop, at least when I go, there's a lot of really knowledgeable guys and girls. Uh, maybe they've been in business for 25 years, 30 years. Maybe they've been collecting coins and since they were a little kid. And, and there's always something you can learn from people, uh, whether they talk to you about some key dates or this time they found something great or hey this coin right here is is worth more than others because of the cc um there's so many things you can learn no one knows everything and if you can go in buy the silver you want and learn something while you're there absolutely worth it right and it, it's to me i enjoy learning so if you don't want to learn eh, buy online who cares read a book right but <laughs> just joking uh I think that's a great benefit of going to a local coin shop. So the fifth and final pro to me, I mentioned talking about buying online for the con. The biggest con for buying online is also the biggest pro for going to your local coin shop. And that's building a relationship with your local coin shop owner. Um, I just talked about this. We'll bring it up again. But... It's, it's very, 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 very beneficial for both parties, right? He or she gets a faithful customer. Um, buying is fun. You know, you look forward to seeing your, your coin shop owner, right? Hey, you know, Bob, say his name's Bob. Bob, man, I, I'm, how you doing, man? And, you know, you start to get to know each other, and it's great, you know? Why would you want to go somewhere where it's uncomfortable or you don't know the person? It's just, it's, you know, it's not how it needs to be. But you build this relationship and it has benefits for both of you. So for you, maybe you're a huge fan of old, old bars, right? Maybe you love these older vintage bars, these Eagle Hearts. You just love them. And you let Bob know, said, hey, Bob, anytime these come in, hang on to them for me. And if you're a, a constant customer and you have a, a great terms, he may do that for you. You don't have to hunt and search and all this stuff. You'll, you'll get them because... You have built that relationship. And that, to me, is a benefit, right? And the biggest benefit of all is when you go to sell, it'll be easy. You'll know the person. You've maybe known them for 10, 15 years, and the sale will go easy. It'll be great, you know? Maybe you'll get a slight better price. Maybe he'll pay you 10 cents more than the next guy. And if you got thousands of ounces, that adds up, right? So that's an awesome pro and the biggest reason why you should go to a local coin shop. So it's not all perfect. You know, there's cons to going to local coin shop just like there are buying online. So let's talk about them. Um, it can be inconvenient. Uh, to me, that's the first con. Uh, you have to leave your house. You can't just sit, you know, on your couch and click a couple buttons and order something. No, you got to leave your house. You got to drive. Uh, and for some, it may not be very close. Some people who live in a, a rural area, you may have to drive to the city. So it can be inconvenient. That's the number one. So the second con, um, inventory will vary, right? So they're a coin shop. They buy and they sell. So if no one is selling one ounce bars, they may not have any in inventory. If no one is selling maple leaves, maybe they have to order. Maybe they don't have any, etc. cetera. Um, junk silver, someone came in and bought it all. So sometimes the... What they have on hand will vary. 
So you may have to adjust what you had intended to buy. But that's okay. You know, no coin shop is perfect. Um, so the third one I want to bring up. Not all are the same, right? Not all are the same. Um, some coin shops aren't all honest. Some are out just to make a more make a big buck, you know, scam people. So uh, you got to be careful, but it may take some time to find a good coin shop that's not charging five dollars over spot for American Silver Eagles, right? So that's a con, but maybe not. Maybe you go to your first coin shop and you love the guy or girl, and it's and it's great from there. But not everyone has that same experience. All right. So the fourth con. Um, retail hours so just like any business they're only open a certain time 9 to 5 8 to 6 closed on Sundays whatever it may be um, you can't just buy whenever you want like you can when you buy online so that's that's a big con you know depending on your work schedule and what goes on in your life it may be difficult for you to get out to those local coin shops All right and the fifth and final con for me, it's it's harder to buy the dips, right? And what do I mean by that? I mean when the price is fluctuating, right? Like it has been this week. Um, if it goes down 50 cents and you're saying, hey, I really, really need to get over there and buy it, but you can't. Maybe you're stuck at work. Maybe you're stuck at a, a party you don't want to be or, or stuck getting groceries or whatever it is. Um, you have to physically go to the location and buy. So you can't really buy on impulse as much. Uh, which could be a pro in some way. Um, so that to me is one of the biggest cons is you you really just can't buy whenever you want. You really got to make the trip out there, right? So so where does this leave us at? Which, which one should you buy from? Um, personally, going back and forth with these cons, I will always choose to buy from my local coin store if possible, right? You're supporting a local business. You're building that relationship. Um, you can still get great deals. You get it instantly in your hand. Um, and knowing that you're building that relationship so later on when you do want to sell, it comes easy is, is great to me, right? You learn some stuff along the way. And to me, if I had the choice, that's the way I would choose. Local coin shop, all the way. But don't discount buying online. You know, you can get these good deals. Keep an eye out for them, right? When they pop up, don't be afraid to buy online. There's nothing wrong with it. Buy those Eagles at $2 over spot. Great deal, right? Um, so yeah, uh, if you've made it this far, uh, I did want to give you a bonus way to buy. Um, this is kind of new for me and most people, I think, is, is Instagram, right? I happen to make one. I made one. Um, finally jumped on board, um, put my Instagram up there. It should be coin and silver journey. Um, definitely think about following me on there, but there's a lot of good people on there. They're selling. So yeah, a lot of people are selling on there. Um, you can get some great deals and for the people who have to deal with buying stuff and buying bullion and paying that sales tax. Um, it's a great way to get around that, right? Um, you really got to be careful, though. If it seems like too good to be true, it probably is. But if you're trying to avoid paying that sales tax, definitely think about getting Instagram. Um, and look out. You know, Follow me and, and then follow some of the people that are following myself and, and start thinking about buying. It's definitely a way to avoid it, but definitely be careful. Anyways, if you made it this far and you're not subscribed... Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like the video, catch you guys in the next one, later.